Early Life and Artistic Beginnings, 1891-1914 Otto Dix was born on December 2, 1891 in Untermhaus, Germany. He showed artistic talent from an early age and began his formal art training in Dresden in 1910. His early work was influenced by Expressionism and the Neue Zöglichkeit, New Objectivity, movement, which aimed to expose the harsh realities of life in a post-world era. The First World War Society The First World War Experience, 1914-1918 Dix's life was profoundly affected by the First World War. He enlisted as a machine gunner in the German army and served on the Western Front. The horrors of war left a lasting impression on him and he began to create powerful, often grotesque depictions of the brutality of war, which became a central theme in his art. The post-war period, 1920s. After the war, Dix continued to develop his unique style. He painted portraits, landscapes and scenes of city life, but he remained best known for his war-related works. Dix's paintings from this period often depicted a grim, critical view of society, reflecting the disillusionment and moral decline that many experienced in the aftermath of the war. The New Objectivity Movement, 1920s and 1930s Otto Dix was a prominent figure in the New Objectivity Movement, which aimed to present an unvarnished, realistic view of society. His art was characterized by sharp lines, detailed precision and a harsh, critical tone. Dix's work often depicted the suffering, violence and decadence he saw in the world around him. Persecution and Second World War, 1933-1945 Dix's art fell out of favor with the Nazi regime, which considered his work degenerate due to its critical and anti-war themes. He lost his teaching position and was forbidden to exhibit his work. During World War II he was conscripted into the German army, but was later captured by the French and held as a prisoner of war. Post-war period and late career, 1945-1969 After the war, Dix returned to Germany and resumed his artistic career. His style evolved and he explored new subjects, including Christian themes and landscapes. He continued to produce thought-provoking and challenging works even as he grew older. Legacy and Impact Otto Dix's art has had a lasting impact on the art world. His willingness to confront the dark and disturbing aspects of humanity made him a pivotal figure in 20th century art. His war-related works remain powerful and moving depictions of the horrors of conflict. Today, his paintings are celebrated for their technical skill and their unflinching exploration of the human condition. Death and Honor Otto Dix died on July 25, 1969. His work is remembered and revered worldwide, and his legacy lives on through the continued appreciation of his powerful and provocative art. In just four minutes this is a brief overview of the life and work of Otto Dix, an important artist of the 20th century.